Hi, I'm Shauna Lee and today I have a thrift haul video and yeah, I don't know, it's a lot, of, it's another thrift haul. I have so many thrift hauls, um, actually I don't have that many but it feels like lately I've been like just thrift shopping and of course I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys and it's, I think all of it is clothing. So, if I remember right, I'm pretty sure all of it's closing. I don't think there was anything else. But, um, let's just get into it. Oh, by the way, my Poshmark shop will be linked down below. All the stuff in this video is for my Poshmark store. Just so you guys know. So, if you see something you're interested in, you can buy it down below. Okay, so this first bag is from today and it's from Goodwill. And there's only like three things in here. So let's just show you guys real quick. So these are some overalls. They're long and have like elastic um, cuffs, something like that. And they have like the little hook thingies. Uh, the brand is Jord Jordash, Jord Jordash something. It's an extra large. But, um, yeah, they're, like, vintage-y. They're kind of like a chambray material. They're not, like, jean jean. And then I got this black label by Evan Picone. Picone. It's a size 2 dress. And I thought this was really pretty. It's, like, purple with, like, pastel pink, like, stripes. I don't know. There's the label if it comes up, but I don't know. I thought that was a really cute dress, so I got it. And then the last thing from Airplane. Okay, I think it's fading away now. So this is a Torrid shirt and it's size zero, zero, but it's, um, a t-shirt that says, I didn't text you, vodka did. I thought that was really cute. If I remember right, Torrid is a plus size brand. So, yes, I thought this was super cute. I was like, getting this, hilarious. There's a bunch of lint on it, but like, sticky roll. So, not too bad. I'm just gonna throw everything into a pile for now. Um, okay. Actually, no, never mind. I'm gonna keep it in the bag so that way it's organized. <laughs> and then I'll take everything downstairs and uh, organize everything from there, I guess. Something like that. And then we have this Goodwill bag from the other day. This is a Chaser waffle knit shirt and it's like a lilac, lilac purple. And there's like four buttons on the sleeve, but this is the label and it is a size large. I thought this was really nice. It's like really nice quality and stuff. Plus Chasers are a really good brand, so it is nice. And then this is a Madewell button up shirt and green with dots. I felt like this was like a nice spring color. I don't know if you'd necessarily like wear this in the spring, I'm not sure. Because I guess it depends on like how cold your location is, but it is a medium made well. And I don't think I, I don't know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't know, I'll have to in inspect it more. And then this is a Lucky Brand sheer blouse, size medium. There's a size, and this is like black and red, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on with this thing. But I sold a purple version of this. I think it was like an extra large though, but I thought might as well grab another one. It's really nice. Lucky Brand is really nice. This one's also Lucky Brand. I'm kind of eh about this. It's a size small, and it's like really shiny sweater, but it's like a little scratchy. So I feel like the only way you'd be able to wear this comfortably is like with some sort of layer in between you and the fabric. So we'll see if I am able to sell it. I don't know. 
the next um, location is Salvation Army, which I also went to the other day. And they killed me. <laughs> they really did. Like, my bag is overflowing because I just kept finding things. But, um, yeah. So this is an LOL vintage shirt. It's Living La Vida Broca. And it's really, like, nice feeling. There's nothing, like, significantly wrong with it. But it's a size medium, but I thought this was so cute. I mean, look at that. That's adorable. I love it. Like, part of me wants to keep it for myself, but because that's completely accurate, but I'll try to sell it and we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Um, okay, so this is a Harley Davidson tee. It kind of has like a marbly, like brown and black thing going on. And there's uh, like a little Harley Davidson thing on the back. But this is, oh, it actually doesn't say the size. Huh. It looks like a medium. I'm gonna guess a medium, maybe. Maybe a large. At least in women's, I'm not sure. I won't know until I actually like measure it, measure it, but. Oh, it's a large. Oh, it's an extra large, wow. Okay, I didn't think there was an extra large. I guess my eyes are deceiving me. But yeah, Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson. <laughs> this is also an extra large. I wonder if it was donated like by the same person or something because yeah, they're extra large, Harley Davidson. There's Harley Davidson thing on the back. It's Des Moines, Iowa, Big Barn, Harley Davidson. And I grabbed it. It's brown. Uh, this one's another Harley Davidson. This one's just black. And yeah, it has like a red design. And it's Harley Davidson Jamaica. Fancy. This one's just a large, but that has the little thing on the back. It's pretty cool. Um. So this one is Sierra Nevada Pale Ale Quarter Stout Tie-Dye Shirt. And I figured I'd grab it. I thought it was, I mean, it's a beer shirt, so why not? This is um, as an adult small. So, I don't know, I thought it was nice. And it's interesting, it's not just like a plain shirt. And then this shirt is an L.A. Tees shirt. What size is this? This is a 3X. So it's like, it's a plus size. And I thought this kind of fit with my, like, um, t-shirt theme that I was going for. So, I don't know. I thought it was nice and, like, a cool texture and, like, I don't know. I like, like, the rhinestones on the front of it. It's really nice. And then, <laughs> this is a vintage Disney Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. It's really soft. It is so soft. I wish you could feel this. This is a size small. But, oh man, I love this. It's so small. It's soft. But yeah, it's just Disney brand. But, and then, this is the last thing out of the bag. This is a Keystone, Colorado, 12,200 feet uh, sweatshirt. It's like really big. I was thinking about like cutting this and bleaching it just to experiment. And then if it turns out well, I might try to sell it as like a unique thing. Just because I mean, I made it. Just kidding. I mean, I, I did it, or I, whatever. You get the point, but I want to experiment with it. And this is nice and oversized, so I feel like I could successfully crop it without too many problems. And it's clearly like an older sweatshirt too, so might as well play with it. This bag I got from Thrift World. I'm not sure how many locations I have. I never had heard of Thrift World until I saw the one in my local era, area. I know there's like at least two of them though. So yeah, but yeah, this is from Thrift World. And 
So this I grabbed because I love the style of it. I didn't recognize the brand. It's, what is it? HIP, so hip. Something like that. But I love like the distressed holes and stuff and it says freedom and it's like, like fluffy ear, <laughs> roughly like uh, sleeves. I don't know. I really liked it. It was unique. So I grabbed it. It fit with what I'm going after. I like teas and I don't know, stuff like that. Um, and then this is a Wonder Woman t-shirt. I liked it. This is an extra small, really? Is that really an extra small? Okay. Oh, and this shirt, by the way, was a large. But yeah, this one's a little distressed and stuff, but I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's a nice, like, empow women empowering shirt. <laughs> and then this is a, I think it's a dress. It's a LuLaRoe something. I don't know, it might just be an oversized shirt, but it's a medium. But it's blue, it's a nice, like, like slick material. It's not like the LuLaRoe that I usually find. So I grabbed it, I thought it was really pretty. I love that blue. And it's like a high-low hem. And then I think this is, yeah, this is the last one out of this trip. But this is just a t-shirt, it reminds me of Brandy Melville, but it's not that brand. It's uh, Miami. And it's a medium, by the way. And it has a to the moon and back, like, thing on there. It'll look a lot better once it's, um, steamed. But, yeah. I thought that was cute. It really does remind me of, like, Brandy Melville t-shirts. But, I don't know. So that is it from there. And this is the last bag. It's another Goodwill one, which I think this one is, like, my oldest thing that I have. I don't remember when I went shopping for this stuff, but these are some Jennifer Lopez capris and I got them because I really like the zipper details on the front of them, but they are capris and they're size four. So I'll make sure to put measurements and stuff in the post and all that. Um, and then this is a Lucky Brand sweater. This one is so soft and it's high-low. It has like a cowl neck thing going on and it's like it's kind of like sparkly too so it's like a like a creamy white sparkly thing going on and it's just it's very like like form-fitting but like comfortable like it looks like amazing. <laughs> But, I don't know, I really like this one too. And then these are some Levi's. I believe these were size 12. I'll double check, but these are Levi's. They're in good condition. They're perfect waist, 525 straight leg. Size 12, medium. So, yep, these are in really good condition. So, just a standard pair of Levi's. <laughs> I also do have a Pair, or a size 8 post them in my shop too but literally same exact ones except size 8 so I'll have size size 12 posted shortly don't know how long it'll take because I don't know what I'm gonna prioritize but we shall see and then we have a pair of Reebok leggings extra small I grabbed these because I really love like the fake studs and stuff like I felt like this design was really cute so I grabbed these and they're like new like they feel like they were just bought from the store so yeah um, okay this I was taking a chance on this because I did not recognize the brand at all but this is Oliver Perry and it's 75% silk 25% nylon size large but there's like a shell tank top and then there's also a matching cardigan that completely unbuttons but this is the matching cardigan and they're both the same size they were in completely different sections and I'm like I'll get both of them I guess 
So I'll probably bundle them together. I I don't know. I that was just me completely just like, oh, those are cool. They match. Let's get these. So we'll see. So let's start with this stuff. I can't remember if I showed this in a previous haul because I've had this one for a while. But um there were like oh it's a torrid tank top with lace in the back and like it's sheer in the front. I thought this was so cute, but there's, um, where is it? Of course I can't even find it now, but there's like a stain on it, but it's like barely, you can barely tell it's there. So I think I'm gonna post it and see if it sells and then if it doesn't sell, then I'll just give it to my mom because she really likes this. It's a little big for her, but she likes it regardless, so if I can't sell it, then I'll just give that to her, which isn't too much of a loss. But yeah, I'll definitely make sure to take photos of the stains on it. And then I got this Calvin Klein animal printed shell tank top for $3.98, which isn't too bad. And this, well, I think most of the stuff I got from a thrift store that I've never been to called Thrift of I think it's like Thrift America, maybe? Oh man, I can't remember now. But yeah, this I thought was really cool and I love the print. I gravitate towards prints, I've noticed. But uh, yeah, so I thought this was kind of cool. And then this is White House Black Market Shell Tank Top. I need to like lint roll it because there's like fuzzy stuff and all that. But I love like that little tie v-neck type thing. And this is a size medium. Oh, that Calvin Klein was a size large. But uh, yeah, so I thought this was really cool. And then we have, I was really excited about this because I've never found Eileen Fisher, but this is like a Morse code, the features female like uh, piece, I guess. And it's a large and it's, it feels like it's linen, like 100% linen. So I'm really excited. It was only $3.98. So I, I'll have to research and see what these are going for, if I can even find anything. But yeah, I was definitely super excited about finding this. And then this is a gold white uh, Jennifer Lopez uh, tank top. And there's like a little strappy thing in the back. Oops, ah, losing it. And then the back of it has a V, like that little strappy thing. But I thought that was really pretty, so I decided to pick it up. And then this is a paper crane, almost like a tunic-y tank top. I'm not sure if it's long enough to be considered a, a tunic, but it is definitely like a higher neck tank and it's a size large. And I don't know, I thought it was really pretty. It's a really nice cream color and the texture of the shirt is different too, which I don't know, I like it. And it's like, it looks like it's semi-see-through, but I don't know, I like it. And then I picked this up because I really like the design and it's almost like a mesh. It's like really weird. And it is Riley and James and it's size large, but I don't know, I really liked it. And it's all ruffly and stuff, but it's definitely interesting. <laughs> and then I love this shirt because it almost has like a worn look to it, but it doesn't like feel like it's too like old or anything. And there's like lace at the bottom. I love the floral. It, the brand is Rewind, where is it? Rewind, and it's a size medium. And then this, oh my lord. I was so excited when I found this. This was at a church thrift store. This was a different thrift store from the other ones, but this was at a church-based one. And as you can see, it's pretty vintage. Uh, where's the button? There we go. Pretty vintage. There's like really cool buttons on it. It is a Max Mara made in Italy coat thing. And it only has the one button at the top and then the rest just kind of flaps open. But I was so excited when I found this because I've never found Ma Max Mara. Granite is like older. You could tell it's older and stuff. But I like it. I'm excited. I don't know how much I'm going to put this up for. It looks like there's like some flaws with it. I know there's like a little 
uh, I don't know if that'll pick up, but there's like a little like mark there. But I don't know. I'm really excited about it. And there's like little like holes there. Like it looked like someone like stapled something onto it. But regardless, or maybe a pin, maybe like a brooch or something. But regardless, I'm excited. I'll see what I can do to clean it up and we'll go from there. And then this Jessica Howard coat thing. I thought this was so pretty. And there's like these things on it. They're just like decorative metal things. But I thought that was so pretty. And it's a size, looks like 12. Oh, this uh, Max, oh, actually, I don't know how big this, or what size this Max Mara coat is. I am not sure, I don't think it says. Uh, USA 6? I don't know. I'll, uh, that's what the tag looks like if it'll show up. So USA 6, I think. I don't know. I'll have to look into it more. Once I post it, I'll have like all my information. But yes, this is a size 12. So yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if I showed this in the last video, but it's like a leather, oh, ooh, a genuine leather jacket, which was really exciting. And it's, I don't know, it's really nice material. I like it. But it's uh, rough, rough hewn or what, how, whatever. And uh, the inside lining is really pretty too. Okay, so I also got this puffer vest and I didn't recognize the brand. It's like Vive Black or something like that, designed in New York. And it's really like decent quality and stuff. And I don't see anything wrong with it. It has like double zippers. And I don't know. I haven't really been able to find much on it, but I thought it was cool and I, thought it was pretty nice so I grabbed it and then this is a cabin fever lol vintage sweatshirt and it's really soft and I feel like would be a really nice sweatshirt for when it got a little chillier outside and then I like this shirt this one's like a like a space graphic tee and then I'm assuming that's played out oh, down there but yeah, I thought that was really cute. And this is a 2X. Oh, and this Cabin Fever one was medium. And this one was also a medium. Okay. But yeah, I thought this was cute. It has a little bit of wash wear on it. But I, yeah, I thought I would buy it anyways. And then this is a Nike tank. And it's a little, like, has, like, a little bit of, like, wearing along like the neckline and stuff but I thought it was really cute so I grabbed it and then this is a Minnesota t-shirt and I don't know I like the graphic on it I felt like that was really pretty and that is a small and this tank top's also a small I keep forgetting to say the uh sizes this Dr. Pepper t-shirt is by Junk Food and it's a size small in juniors, I believe, and it also says I'm a pepper on the back. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed it too. And then this shirt, I'm kind of iffy on. I thought it was really cute. It's Supergirl, like comic book style, but like the back part kind of has like some like wear and stuff. And there's like some like just, I don't know. I, I know there's like some holes in it somewhere and um, I don't know I really like it though so I might try to sell it but I probably would have to heavily discount it but oh yeah there's like a hole right there so I don't know I will think about it and then I picked this up this doesn't really have a particular brand there's no label or anything but I don't know how well it's showing up but it's like a beaded meshy uh tank shell tank type thing and the back of it has like buttons going down and I don't know I thought this was really pretty and honestly I don't know if this is the front or the back to be honest but whatever either way it's really cool and I felt like it was kind of vintage and cool looking and um I thought this was really cool there is 
a hole in it, which kind of sucks, but I really like the embroidery on this. It's like a Thai kimono type thing. It says it's 100% silk, and it has like this really cool dragon on the back of it. And it says that it's made in Vietnam, and I don't know, I feel like it's so cool. And this is a size small. And yeah. I don't know. I f and it also has po oh no, it's falling. It also has pockets, but oh oh, it fell. That hole really sucks. It's almost like it was like melted or something because it's a little hard around it. But I don't know. I might try to sell it. I probably won't be able to sell it for as much as I could. But yeah. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, and I feel really conflicted about this tank top. I, like, really like the, um, the beading and stuff and, like, the frayed collar and stuff. And it's White House Black Market, extra small. And there's, like, like, a small mark on the front of it. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else. There's some hair on it from, like, the previous owner of this. But, like, uh, animal hair. But I would, like... Roll, like sticky roll that off and stuff but I don't know I might give it to my mom because she seemed to really like it but I kind of want to have it in my Poshmark closet so I'm not sure I don't know it's really pretty so I don't know okay so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and comment down below if there's anything that interests you or if you've ever been to any of these places and um, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more haul videos, story time videos, food videos, thrifting videos, more videos like that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!